The Seahawks fall to the San Francisco 49ers 27-7. Tyler Jones here on Seahawks today as we look back on the Seahawks' first loss of the 2022 season. The Seahawks started off slow, and they ended up in a situation where Trey Lance was injured, but Jimmy Garoppolo came in, and the offense did not slow down at all. Garoppolo off the bench went 13 of 21, 154 yards and a touchdown. Geno Smith for the day was 23 of 28 for 180 yards and a touchdown. The run game never really could get going. Rashad Penny led the Seahawks in rushing with six carries for 15 yards. Tyler Lockett had a good day with nine catches for 107 yards, but the Seahawks offense never really did a good job of getting into the end zone. They struggled to move the football in the red zone throughout the afternoon, and they find themselves in the lost column in the first divisional game of 2022. A bad day for the Seahawks, no matter how you shake it. I mean, it was just disappointing from this team of the performance they put out there, and so many missed opportunities, so many mistakes of their own, own doing. I mean, everybody's going to point to the halfback pass that resulted in an interception. I don't know why Shane Waldron called that play, but it, it was clearly a mistake. And then from that point forward, the Seahawks had no response going forward for this team, could never recover off of that mistake. So with that, how would you grade the Seahawks' performance today? It can't be a good grade. I can tell you that. A, B, C, D, or F. Let me know in the comments section. I know that that was, didn't feel good for Seattle with that performance, uh, with what they were able to put together. And the other thing, too, Jimmy G comes in, and you have so much tape on Jimmy G over the years. And the Seahawks defense looked like that they weren't prepared for Jimmy G. How would you grade that performance? I would not give it a good grade myself. Let me know in the comments section. Type A, B, C, D, or F, how you would grade the Seahawks' performance today. First question coming in from Raw Hector, hashtag Seahawks. Is it time for Drew Lock? You know, of all things from the Seahawks team, of the way that they struggled and looked bad, Geno Smith was not problem number A, B, C, or D, right? I mean, it's not Geno Smith's fault that... <laughs> There was a halfback pass that resulted in interception. Geno Smith had some bad throws, sure. But of all the issues with this Seahawks team, that the way that they played and with how much they struggled, Geno Smith, he didn't play great by any means, but he was not the number one issue involved here. Look, and, and take this into account. Drew Locke in the preseason was so bad. Final preseason game had three interceptions. Do you want to turn to that? I mean, if you didn't like what you saw from Geno Smith in this offense today, it can get worse. I can tell you that right now. Do you really want to turn to that? I don't know. I don't know if you're ready to call up Drew Locke just yet, quite frankly. I think we will see Drew Locke at some point this year. But after this performance, I, I would not point things to Drew Locke after this one. Next question from Red River, 06, writes, Seahawks, only points from Mike Jackson. Zero points from the offense. So Mike Jackson had that blocked field goal return for a touchdown. Was an incredible play from Mike Jackson and one that caught all of us off guard that we didn't see coming and it was just incredible. And other than that, that was the only points of the day for Seattle. The offense was just so MIA. Mike, you're, you're right about that. But remember, this is the first game that Kenneth Walker played since his injury. And we saw Tyler Lockett get involved. Tyler Lockett had a nice day. Things will get better. Okay? It was not a good day for the Seahawks offense. Everyone can sit here and admit that. No question. But I think things will evolve and get better as the season goes along for this offense. I am not giving up faith just yet on this offense. We've seen. You go back to the Bronco game. 
just a week ago what this offense can do, that this offense at, you know, full strength of what they're capable of, that they can move the football. Geno Smith, to me, you know, I look at these statistics. I'm looking at the box score on my screen right now, folks. Tyler Lockett leads the Seahawks in receiving. Nine catches, 107 yards. DK Metcalf, four catches, 35 yards. Travis Homer, four catches, 33 yards. Noah Fant, two catches, and 11 yards. And the thing that stands out, comparably speaking to that Denver game, is that we saw the Seahawks with Geno Smith do a really good job in that first game of getting the ball to those big receivers, right? Will Disley, Noah Fant, Colby Parkinson. I look at the box score, where are those guys? I mean, you might as well put them on a milk carton because they were missing today. DK Metcalf, I mean, he had four catches, but Noah Fant, just two catches? Where was Colby Parkinson? Where was Will Disley, those guys? Geno Smith had a nice connection with those big receivers, and it just totally went MIA today. So with that, um, got to get the ball back to those bigger receivers for this offense to get rolling as far as I'm concerned. What say you? Your turn now here on Seahawks today. One word to describe the Seahawks offense against San Francisco. What would your one word be? My one word would be disappointing. Even if you thought the Seahawks were going to lose today, I think you would expect more than what we saw. Let me know in the comments section. One word to describe Seattle's offense today against San Fran. Next question comes from Charlie the Unicorn. Defensive line was having all kinds of problems stopping the rush, especially inside the tackles. Uh, Yeah, they were. Here's the statistics for you. The Seahawks gave up 189 yards on the ground. Jeff Wilson, 16, 18 carries, 84 yards. Steve Samuel, 4 carries, 53 yards. Davis Price, 14 carries for 33 yards. The Seahawks had no answer for the run run for the run game. The do, the Niners did whatever they wanted running the football. And that's disappointing. I mean, cuz I mean the the truth of the matter is every team in the NFL the way that they want to win, if they had it their way, is to establish the run to open up the passing game. And you have to stop the run first. doesn't matter how good your passing game is. Everybody wants to run the football to some extent. And the Seahawks had no answer for the Niners' run game. Debo Samuel was great on the ground. Wilson was great on the ground. It was frustrating. It really was. And the run game for the Niners was something else. So, yeah, uh, you hope the defensive line can get better. But got to get... Got to get better stopping the run as far as I'm concerned. How would you rate the Seahawks defense against the Niners? 27-7. to I mean, it could have been worse, but it wasn't great either. How would you rate it? Scale it for me in the comments section. 1 through 100. Let me know how you would rate the Seahawks defense against the 49ers. Let me know. Today's show is presented by BetUS, and BetUS is offering a great deal for Seahawks fans. You go to chatsports.com slash bet, use the promo code Seahawks125, they'll give you a 125% deposit bonus. You may be asking, well, Tyler, what does that mean? If you put $100 down, they'll give you $125 to spend for free. It's quite the deal. And it's only available for Seahawks Today viewers at chatsports.com slash bet. Use that promo code CLX125 for a 125% deposit bonus. Sign up now. Chatsports.com slash bet. It's like getting a pizza and then you get a second pizza and then another slice for free. You can't beat it. Chatsports.com slash bet. Next question comes from Red River. Gino has good plays and yardage, but no points. Yeah, exactly. Here's the numbers from Geno Smith. 24 of 30, 197 yards, one interception, two carries on the ground, two yards for Geno Smith there. Yeah, I mean, he's not finishing drives. That's important. you got to be able to finish. And Geno Smith and this offense were not finishing drives. I mean, 
the thing with Geno Smith, the reason why that he won the starting quarterback job over Drew Locke was his ability to limit mistakes as opposed to Drew Locke. I mean, you go back to the final preseason game when Drew Locke threw three interceptions. I mean, that was that was bad, right? And then here with Geno Smith today, I know he, he had one interception, but I would have loved to seen him be more aggressive, more aggressive and open up the offense. There's a balancing act of sorts, right? Not only do you want your quarterback to not turn over the football, but you also want your quarterback to be able to push the football downfield, to find that happy medium. And with Geno Smith, you don't have that right now. Yeah, I hope that that changes, but right now they simply don't have that. So uh, thanks for the question there. But, yeah, it's a, a very good point on uh, that front there. Want to make sure you're subscribed to Seahawks today. We did a watch party for the Niners game and had a great time. And we're going to be doing watch parties all season long on Seahawks today. So make sure that you are a real one and subscribe to the channel for the latest Seattle Seahawks news and rumors and never miss a moment. We also do a live show every Wednesday here on the channel. So subscribe so you make sure you're a part of the live show each and every Wednesday. And we're covering the Seahawks' latest news and rumors as well throughout the week. So subscribe so you never miss a moment. The latest happenings with your favorite team, the Seattle Seahawks, it's right here, all in one place, Seattle Seahawks Today by Chat Sports. You guys are the absolute best. Subscribe to the channel so you never miss a moment here on Seahawks Today.